Zero seven two degrees, okay? And the variation for the area that we're in is 15 degrees to the western. And we have a deviation card for our vessel, and for 72 degrees, they tell us that we have a one degree easterly deviation. We can compute from true to compass to figure out the compass course to steer. Plug in the numbers. 0772 degrees. Variation is 15 degrees to the west. We're going to add west. We get 087 degrees. That's our magnetic heading. Deviation for that heading would be one degree easterly. And because we subtract east, we get 086 degrees for our per ship's compass, for a compass heading. And that's what we would steer, looking at our compass, to make good our course of 072 degrees true. Okay? Now we can do it the other way. We can go from compass to true. We're steering a course and we want to know what course we would draw on our chart as the true course. Well, we have a little saying for that one too. We just took all these letters and flipped them around. But to remember that, we, we say, can dead men vote twice at elections? Subtract West. And now if we were given, if we were given a compass heading and variation and deviation, we would plug them in accordingly. So, Let's say that the, the question said that we are going to travel on per ship's compass heading of 196 degrees. And they want to know what is the true heading. Variation for the area equals 14 degrees west. That's a given. It's on the chart. Deviation table. We find out that we have a 2 degree easterly deviation. We plug in the numbers and we, we do the math. Compass, 196 degrees deviation two degrees easterly and we know we're adding east so we're going to add that our magnetic heading would be 198 variation for the area 14 degrees to the western we're going to subtract west that's what the formula tells us eight minus four is four nine minus one is eight so the true the true heading that we would draw on our chart is 184 degrees. Okay?